Hey everybody, how would you like to earn a daily passive income just by going walking or jogging every day? And that's what I've been doing with Steppen, which is a pioneering Web3 health and fitness app, which has now spurred an entire move to earn industry, bringing together crypto, NFTs, and the metaverse to the multi-billion dollar fitness and well-being industry. Now, Steppen is a ton of fun and has, well, transformed my life in 2022. Instead of making excuses, I'm now heading outside every day, getting fresh air and some sunshine, becoming more fit and healthy, and, oh, making some decent pocket money while doing so. Now, to get started, you have to buy a set of virtual sneakers with a few Solana or some BNB, and off you go. After each exercise session, you can do things like upgrade your NFT sneakers or cash out some of your earnings. It's up to you. Now in this video, I wanna look at how Steppen works, where the project is going and who this app is for. Now the last point is crucial as your primary motivation for joining really should be to play an engaging game that video. motivates you to be healthy. Not because you wanna get rich quick as it's a surefire way to get into trouble with the current volatility in both the markets and where the team is at with their roadmap. So uh, if you're someone who needs a bit of a kick to go outside every day and get fit around, nothing's gonna ever keep you down. Try to be fit, cause you're only a man, and a man gotta learn to take it. Try to believe, though the going gets rough, that you gotta hang tough to make it. Then literally getting paid for it might just be the motivation you need. All right, if you find this interesting, please drop a like. It's the only way the YouTube algorithm notices me. Let's dive in. Okie dokie, so this is how Steppen works. What you do is you download the app, open an account, transfer some Solana over, buy an NFT representing a set of virtual sneakers, and then you use them to go out on walks or runs every day. You can play on the BNB chain as well, but to keep things simple, we'll stick with Solana in this video. Now, every day you have a certain amount of energy, which you use up by walking or running to earn money. What's clever is that unused energy doesn't roll over to the next day, which basically forces you to go out and enjoy the sunshine every day. In other words, use it or lose it. It's kind of like someone's dangling some cash in front of you and saying, hey, if you want this, you need to go for a walk today or lose the chance. It's a clever and effective mix of human psychology and incentives. Lots of people have what's called loss aversion, where if you paid for something, in this case, your NFT sneakers, like going to a buffet, you wanna get your money's worth. Now, while exercising, you're gonna earn a cryptocurrency called GST, or Green Satoshi Token, which the team hopes you'll use to repair and level up your shoes, and to trade for gems and even more sneakers through things like mystery boxes and minting. There's a ton of stuff to do in the game. On the other hand, you can cash out your GST for Solana or stable coins, and that's where the passive income bit comes from. Now, right now, the project is still in beta, with new features being added all the time. In the future, we're gonna have more realms as the team partners up with new brands and blockchains. Now, Steppen has already expanded into the BNB chain, and they've partnered up with ASICS, and there's a lot more coming given the size of the multi-billion dollar health and fitness industry, which Steppen is trying to onboard from Web 2 to Web 3, a very lofty goal. Now, the team is currently working on a rental system where NFT owners can rent out their sneakers to new players, which means that they won't even need to buy them anymore to get started, which is a win-win situation for everyone. Arguably, the most important feature that players are looking forward to is the ability to earn Steppen's main cryptocurrency, GMT, which has a cap supply and a token economy that borrows from Bitcoin. Right now, players can only earn GST, right, which has an uncapped supply and is more intended to be used as a utility token right, for sneaker repairs, upgrades, and so on. For a bunch of reasons, the price of GST has been on a downtrend lately, which ultimately affects the amount of passive income you earn from Steppen. The good news is GST is supposed to be a utility token that's kept inside the ecosystem. And uh, once the team introduces GMT earning, which requires level 30 sneakers, we're gonna start seeing the full economic system as it was intended on the roadmap really come together. Okay, so now let's talk about the risks and the opportunities that come with Steppen. So fundamentally, the problem with play to earn games like Axie Infinity, like Steppen, is to some degree they have Ponzi economic systems. It's not a pyramid scheme. It is a, it's not even a scheme per se, it's... Think about it. How do you magically find the money to pay everybody potentially hundreds of dollars to go on nice leisurely walks? Well, the easy and convenient answer is, it's money from new players. 
but times are getting tough. We're in a terrible macroeconomic climate. Uh, investors are in risk off mode. Consumer inflation is running rampant. Uh, supply chain issues persist. We've got spiraling commodity prices. Everyone's biggest fear is that, well, the music's gonna stop at some point and Stepan could head into an unrecoverable death spiral. And this is what we need to clarify who Stepan is for, because you see over the past few months, Stepan's hype has attracted a large number of investors who poured into Stepan for basically the wrong reasons. These investors realized they could recover their initial investment in 20 to 40 days, even less if they onboarded onto the BNB chain when it launched. Now this corresponded to an insane 1,000 to even up to 3,000% annualized return. Now after taking out their principal, their initial investment, they can then continue exercising every day risk-free and earn a strong passive income, maybe forever. That could even say, <laughs> replace their jobs, right? That was the dream. And then once these investors really sat down and realized how unsustainable it was for any project to pay you basically hundreds of dollars to go for a nice walk down the park, panic set in and many sold their sneakers at a loss and began spreading a ton of FUD on the internet. But the developers have said time and time again, right, in interviews, on the internet, on their blog, this is a Web3 project whose goal is to incentivize users to get healthy, right? It's not meant to be a get-rich-quick scheme. Uh, GST earned from walking is meant to be spent in the game, right? Being able to cash it out in the form of passive income was never supposed to be the main draw. Really, the right and sustainable mentality, the right attitude for getting to Stepan should be, hey, Stepan motivates me to get outside, get some fresh air every single day, become fit and healthy. <laughs> and make a little bit of pocket money while doing so. Personally, and it's a little bit embarrassing to admit this, but Stepan's made me a better person this year. Along with improving my fitness, well, my mental health, concentration and sleep quality has improved as well. My family, friends and colleagues now get to see me more often because I literally have to go outside to use my energy up every single day, right? Anyway, I really want to move on and talk about why I'm long-term bullish on the project despite the short-term volatility, and it really comes down to three things. Intrinsic value, roadmap, and the quality of the game. So first and foremost, I know I'm going to rattle some feathers here, but games like Axie Infinity, they don't have much intrinsic value, and I say this as an Axie investor. Stepan's intrinsic value is that it rewards players for doing something that they were going to be doing every day anyway, walking, jogging, and running. The team's goal is to introduce Web3 to the Web2 masses through health, fitness, and well-being, which is a massive industry globally. So that's one heck of a value proposition. So far, around 30% of Stepan users had never before used crypto or blockchain services before, right? So Stepan's playing an important role mainstreaming crypto and attracting new capital during a time when most projects are competing tooth and nail for a dwindling share of existing capital in the altcoin space as we head into what looks to be like a crypto winter. So Stepan is an important project for bridging the masses from the traditional Web2 world into the new frontier of Web3. Secondly, I'm bullish on the team, the vision, and the roadmap. So right now, the app is still in beta, and there's a ton of cool stuff coming, like marathons, GMT earning, the rental system, and new realms and partnerships. Very exciting stuff. Now, the talented team, who beat uh, 500 other projects in a Solana hackathon last year, they're backed by powerhouses, including Socora, Binance, uh, Solana's own VC arm, along with uh, Alameda, right? So here you're looking at Sam Bankman-Fried, the brains behind FTX and Serum, well-known centralized and decentralized exchanges. Now, one of the team's main overriding goals so far has been iterating towards that sustainable economy, right? That's gonna prevent Stepan from falling into a death spiral of sorts that we've seen with other promising projects. That's why the team designed a dual currency system, right? GMT and GST, because it provides the team an extra degree of freedom to calibrate the supply and demand intricacies of its economy to help make it sustainable, right? So they're in this for the long haul. They've openly uh, acknowledged the Ponzi nature of play to earn games in general. And it's funny to see the community regularly joining in on the fun with their own memes. Now, the point I'm trying to make is investors and players will need to give the team the space that it needs to test out all the different various gameplay mechanics on their roadmap. See how they perform and refine, right? Basically give them a chance to iterate to that perfection. Just like how Blizzard took years to calibrate StarCraft, right? The Steppen ecosystem is still in beta. It's gonna be in beta for a while while the team wrestles through the intricacies of their design choices. A quick example of this try fast and fail ethos 
uh, a while ago, there weren't enough sneakers being minted, which caused a bit of a supply squeeze. And so the team promptly ran some double minting events, right? Now that then caused too many sneakers to be minted, right? Which also caused the GST prices to explode to unsustainable levels, spurred by new minting farms ran by clever devils who had zero intention to play the game as it was intended which was to go outside and exercise. As a result, the team came in, they calibrated their tokenomics to disincentivize runaway minting, uh, they introduced an anti-cheating machine learning system, and they're soon gonna introduce something called minting scrolls, a new gameplay mechanic that's gonna make it impossible for you to mint without exercising. So the bottom line is, it's gonna take some time for the team to get this right. It's a difficult ecosystem to balance, that's why the app is still in beta. Finally, the third reason why I really like Stepin is that it's really fun and quite addictive, right? Crypto games, they need to be good games first and foremost. Uh, if you look at Axie Infinity, many players were from low wage countries who were basically playing to make a living out of it and it wasn't that fun, right? If a play to earn game can't stand on its own as being enjoyable, then without the money making aspect, the project kind of crumbles when the music stops and the money dries up. In contrast, it's very easy to get hooked on Steppen, right? Leveling up your sneakers is fun. Optimizing your energy is fun. Mystery boxes are fun. Minting more sneakers is fun. The app is an addictive affair for the retail masses, incentivizing them to get fresh air every day. And it's really quite a good showcase for what Web3 has to offer. Right now, personally, I'm working on leveling up my uncommon sneaker gear for GST earning towards level 29 and pulling out some daily earnings and swapping it into blue chips like Bitcoin and Ethereum. At the same time, I'm actually leveling up another uncommon sneaker towards level 30. This one optimized for earning GMT. So when the team implements that update, I don't know when that's gonna be, could be in a few months time, I'll be ready to go from day one. Really exciting stuff. Anyway, if you're interested in more Steppen videos, let me know. There's tons of stuff to talk about, such as how do you pick your first sneakers? Right? What do the efficiency, luck, comfort, and resilience stats mean? How do they affect your earnings? What do the gems do? What are mystery boxes and how do you get them? If you want to cash out your earnings, should you convert your GST straight to stable coins? Or maybe to GMT? Or perhaps to Solana? What's the best time to enter Steppen? Is it a good time now? There's a lot to talk about, so let me know if you want to see some more videos on Steppen. As always, everything here is for educational purposes. I am not a financial advisor. And for full disclosure, I have no connections with the team. I'm just a fan of the project. Thanks for watching, follow me on Twitter for the latest, have a great day wherever you are and see you in the next one.